Good morning. Welcome to e-learning. I am P. Sakhiwel, Assistant Professor, Department of Tripoli, Tandai Periyar Government Institute of Technology, Vellu. Today's topic, Dual Converter. In Dual Converter, we are using two converters, Converter 1 and Converter 2, where the load is common to both the converters. Two full bridge converters are connected back to back or in anti-parallel and are connected to the same DC load is called a dual converter. One of converter work as rectifier that converts AC to DC and another converter work as inverter which converts DC to AC. The dual converter provides four quadrant operations. The diagram shows four quadrant operations of the dual converter. In the first quadrant, converter 1 works in the rectification mode and opposite to this, the converter 2 that is in the third quadrant, converter 2 works in the rectification mode. In the fourth quadrant, converter 1 works in the inversion mode and opposite to this, in the second quadrant, converter 2 works in the inversion mode. This is the diagram of an ideal dual converter where converter 1 and its output voltage is V0 1, converter 2 on right side and its average output voltage is given to V0 2 and firing angle control provides firing angle alpha 1 for the first converter, firing angle alpha 2 for the second converter such as the summation of alpha 1 plus alpha 2 equal to 180 degree. The term ideal refers to the ripple free output voltage. For the purpose of this unidirectional flow of DC current, two diodes D1 and D2 are incorporated in between the converters. However, the direction of current can be in any way. The average output voltage of converter 1 is V01 and average output voltage of 2 is V02. To make the output voltage of two converters, in same polarity and magnitude, the firing angles of the thyristor has to be controlled such as alpha 1 plus alpha 2 equal to 180. Output voltage control. Average output voltage of single phase converter, single phase full converter is given by V0 equal to 2 Vm by pi cos alpha. Similarly, the average output voltage of three phase full converter is given by V0 equal to 3 VML by pi into cos alpha. For converter 1, the average output voltage is given as V01 equal to V0 M cos alpha 1. For converter 2, the average output voltage V02 is given as V0 M cos alpha 2. Their output voltage have the same polarity if the polarity of the second converter V02 is reversed. That is, the calculation of output voltage V0 equal to V01 equal to minus V02 because the polarity of second converter is reverse. Now V01 equal to V0 m cos alpha 1, V02 equal to V0 m cos alpha 2. Now V0 m, V0 m get cancels so cos alpha 1 equal to minus cos alpha 2. Cos alpha 1 equal to minus cos alpha 2 can be written as cos of 180 minus alpha 2. Now cos cos gets cancelled so alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 that is 180 minus alpha 2. So it becomes alpha 1 plus alpha 2 equal to 180. Next practical dual converter. There are two modes of practical dual converters. One is non-circulating current mode and second one is circulating current mode. First we consider circulating current mode. It is the diagram for the single phase dual converter which works in the non circulating current mode. This inputs A and B. Similarly, the inputs are A and B. This is converter 1, positive converter. This is converter 2 and negative converter. Both are connected to the common load. In the non circulating current mode, there will not be any reactor that is current limiting reactors in both the converters. It is a diagram for three phase dual converter which works in the non circulating current mode. In the non circulating current mode of operation, one converter will perform at a time. So, 
there is no circulating current between the converters at a time only one converter will work after the commutation of the first converter only the second converter will be turned on if converter 1 is working alone operation in first quadrant and fourth quadrant is obtained if converter 2 is working alone operation in the second and third quadrant is obtained during working of converter 2 polarity of load voltage and direction of load current can be reversed this is the complete diagram which shows the circulating current mode this converter 1 and this is the converter 2 this positive converter and negative converter it is a common load where both the converters are connected back to back and this is lr by 2 lr by 2 which is used to limit the circulating current this is known as reactor in circulating current mode two converters will be in the on condition at the same time so circulating current is present the firing angles are adjusted such that alpha 1 plus alpha 2 equal to 180 for positive values of vdc and idc converter 1 has controlled rectifier for 0 less than alpha less than 90 and converter 2 has an inverter for 90 less than alpha 2 less than 180 in this condition both vdc and idc are positive for VDC and IDC negative, converter 1 work as inverter for 90 less than alpha 1 less than 180 that is alpha 1 greater than 90 degree and converter 2 has controlled rectifier for 0 less than alpha 2 less than 90. In this condition both VDC and IDC are negative. It is a complete waveform for single phase dual converter. This is the supply voltage and output voltage of converter 1 for alpha 1 firing angle this is v naught 2 output voltage for the second converter where alpha 2 equal to pi minus alpha 1 alpha 2 equal to pi minus alpha 1 such that alpha 1 plus alpha 2 equal to 180 degree for alpha 1 less than 90 degree this first converter work as rectifier but the second converter for alpha 2 greater than 90 degree the second converter works in the inversion mode limitation of circulating current average output voltage of two converters are equal from the diagram if we calculate the average output voltage for converter 1 as v naught 1 and for converter 2 v naught 2 both are equal but their instantaneous voltages are out of phase see here at this point the instantaneous values are different it goes on positive but for converter 2 it goes on negative the instantaneous values are different but average values are same so large circulating current flows between two converters but the circulating current does not flow through the load how to limit this circulating current see the diagram for the non circulating current and circulating current so in the non circulating current mode of operation of the full converter there will not be any reactor present in the converters but here in order to limit the circulating current we are having an current limiting reactors that is circulating current is limited to a tolerable value by inserting a circulating current reactor between the converters disadvantages of circulating current mode a reactor is required to limit the circulating current size and cost of this circulating current reactor increases at high power levels moreover the losses are much more in the converter hence the efficiency and power factors are low thyristor needs to handle both load current as well as the circulating current so high current rating thyristors are required for the dual converters these are the disadvantages of circulating current behind this disadvantages always the dual converters are operated in circulating current mode why we should operate the dual converters in circulating current mode to reverse the load current quite frequently 
and to get fast response in the four quadrant operation. So these are the two main reasons why the dual converter is always operated in circulating current mode. This is a single phase dual converter. Positive converter, P converter and negative converter. These two converters are connected back to back to the common inductive load and in order to limit the circulating current we are inserted and current limiting reactor on both the converters. This ICR, ICR is the circulating current which flows through the converter alone not in the load. In single phase dual converter we use single phase full converter circuit for converting single phase AC into steady DC. The converter 1 work as rectifier. The rectified DC feed to a filter. That reactor will act as a filter. This filter removes the pulses that ripples from rectified DC and converts it to a pure DC. That is the function of the reactor or filter. It is a complete waveform which shows the input source voltage Vs and output voltage for converter 1 where alpha 1 less than 90 degree and converter 2 output voltage that is alpha 2 greater than 90 degree that is alpha 2 equal to pi minus alpha 1 and due to this if you add these two things V naught 1 plus V naught 2 from 0 to alpha 1 both are negative very similar see here 0 to alpha 1 0 to alpha 1 both are negative so if we add these two things you will get a minus 2 vm sin alpha 1 as the voltage from alpha 1 to pi sorry from alpha 1 to this point up to this point this output voltage of v naught 1 is positive and output voltage of V02 is negative but both are same magnitude. So V01 plus V02 becomes 0. So after that both are positive. See here positive voltage similarly in V01 is also positive voltage. So the resultant voltage is also positive. So this is known as resultant voltage or reactor voltage due to this voltage and circulating current flows through the converters. Filtered pure DC is fed to load. Similarly, converter 2 work as in inverter. Output of converter 2 is also given to the same common load. This diagram shows the converter output as a function of hiring angle alpha. See here V01 for 0 degree firing angle is positive. That is P converter work as rectifier for this value and alpha 2 is 180 degree for 180 degree this v naught 2 is negative applications of dual converter direction and speed control of dc motors applicable wherever the reversible dc is required and industrial variable speed dc drives Thank you.